at the Pan Pacific Hotel. It's 1.30 in the morning, so it's very, very early. I actually can't wait to get to Coms Connect, but that's the day after tomorrow, so the, tomorrow is a relaxed day. Uh, right now, it's time to go to bed. From the entrance at the Pan Pacific Hotel towards hole number one is about 10 minute walk, uh, which is an easy walk. You can do it outside, you can do it inside. I plan today to do a walk inside the building. As this is hole number nine and number eight, um, Combs Connect is taking place in hole number one. But that's two, almost there. I have been traveling over the last two weeks. I traveled from Cape Town to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam back to Dubai, from Dubai to Melbourne. I'm traveling with my daughter this time, but I'm here for one reason. I'm here for Coms Connect 2018, which is the critical communications industry show for LMR, PMR and 4G critical communications and later 5G critical communications for the Asian Pacific region. It's 9.30 in the morning, so let's meet up Paul Davis, who's the organizer of this event here, and ask him exactly his thoughts about the event that is coming up for the next couple of days. Although the weather is gonna go cactus today, it's still 24 degrees, it's still nice and warm, um, but that will change within the next coming days. It's gonna get rainy, it's gonna get wet, it's gonna get cold uh, for Aussie standards, and um, so therefore, I don't mind being inside uh, at Coms Connect 2018. So when I want to speak Paul Davis, I need to find Paul Davis. workshops, 82 speakers, 91 exhibitors and over a thousand visitors and delegates. One Paul Davis. <laughs> <laughs> One Paul Davis. Unfortunately. So Paul, where are we going? Oh, this is just the uh, organizer's office, so nothing, uh, nothing, nothing too fancy nothing. here. No, we've got the exhibition build bumping going on here to put these on first. Yeah. So it's not the biggest show, but uh, there's plenty to do, so I'll well, we'll take a look around. They got one day to build up the whole show, yeah. 24 hours yes. for, from scratch to the full exhibition. Yeah, 24 they'll hours. They'll be working late tonight, I think. Unbelievable, there's nothing here right now. Wow. The only thing that you see are the signs on top of the booth, so everybody knows where they need to know where they are. Some so of everybody, them. Some of them, <laughs> even some of them, right? Every year they are exact on time? We haven't failed yet. Started, instead of just covering P25, the traditional stuff, P25, Tetra, DMR, we began looking for new topics and new new sessions that we can include in the program. And, you know, I think that's really well reflected this year. You know, we've got intelligent transport systems being looked at, automated vehicles, the Internet of Things has got uh, quite a lot of content and a panel session around that. I guess the difficulty is uh, refining the content and changing the content without losing, you know, losing sight of of, of where we've come from because we need to keep that community involved and engaged with the conference and with the exhibition as well. We can't throw the baby out with the bar water. This is Combs Connect 2018. I know exactly that you want to see what I'm seeing right now. 
Oh, it's great. Look who I'm seeing here right now. Um, last week in Cape Town, this week over here. Uh, that's Stephanie Pichiogros from Pichiogros. And my first glimpse of the show is kind of light, it's kind of compact. Most of the companies are ready to rock and roll. Um, it's going to be an exciting day actually today. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to meet the guys of Tate, Motorola Solutions, Wireless Innovation just over here, um, uh, Kenwood over there, and of course Hightera, which is the main sponsor of the event. I do hear some clapping just about the end of the exhibition over here and that's the keynote because that was just started a few minutes ago. Let me see if I can get entrance there because I'm not sure where to go. So that's a theater. And I think I need to be somewhere in here, right? Okay, thank you. Good morning, how are you? Okay, cool. What's going on globally? And, and try to get involved, and hopefully at the end of the right day, place at the right time. A little bit too late. They show you if the macro network is running great. If you're out in the middle of nowhere doing a wildland fire, or if a hurricane just hit and all the towers are down. There's a company here at Combs Connect which is called Telstra. And Telstra is really an important company. We're talking about critical communications. They own a network, not just a network. They support critical communications to the fullest. Not with two radio communications only, but they also do support critical communications industry with this little device over here. And that's a drone. You might think drones and telecommunications, yes, that's definitely true because this is a drone that you guys are using, right? That's right. This is part of our uh, experimental uh, fleet of aircraft and we're using this one as a flying cell tower. Part of the a series. flying cell tower. That's right. So that means you uh, use this device inspecting cell towers? Oh, yes we do, but this one we're, also, we're using to create a whole new cell on the ground. So this is uh, part of a project we're doing for emergency coverage in the case of a disaster, say a flood or fire or earthquake, and we can provide some emergency coverage from an aerial platform to re restore 4G coverage. But why do you use such a large drone like this? I would say, you know, if you do inspections, you don't need a large drone, you just use, use DJI Phantom Pro or, or something else like that, but this is a special one, I guess, right? Yeah, so this one we're using just for its heavy lift capability. While we're experimenting, we need something that can lift heavier, heavier loads. Once we've worked out exactly what it takes to create a flying cell tower, then we can work on lightening the load and getting it onto a smaller, small platform for the uh, for the ultimate uh, production version. Okay. So this is good for experimenting, but it's not what we go to production with. Cookie said hi, Terra. That's so that's good. Um, Panda bears, but that's not where they're selling. Uh, they're actually one of the two companies in the world that is selling a complete range from low-end to high-end critical communication solutions. You might think two companies, yes, there are only two companies in the entire world selling those solutions, from applications to PTT radios to LTE solutions, um, uh, control room solutions. Um, so that's Hightera. Now, part of Hightera, as we know for quite a while right now, is Sapura, and Terence Ledger himself, he's here, and he can explain to me exactly what about Tetra? You got some good stuff in the back, right? Yes, we have some new um, applications. Shall we go there? Yeah, we go. Shall we go? Let's, go Let's go. Let's see yep. what kind of applications there are. And that's just over here. We have our our Tetra um, part of the stand where we have our applications. Here we're showing an indoor tracking um, solution using the um, Sapura SC21s um, and Bluetooth. So it's basically something that's, that's cost effective to deliver for indoor tracking so you know exactly where people are inside a building um, which is just as important for you when you're tracking people outside that you also when they're inside you know where they are in an emergency situation. Then we have um, recently launched the, um, the SC21 in 800 megahertz um, which is good for um, some of the, the larger countries like um, Australia's got a lot of 800 megahertz um, existing users so it's bringing a new small compact radio for them to use. Um, we're also seeing new markets opening up for 800 meg, you know, in the US um, in, in particular, as well as um, even now that we've seen New Zealand has um, made spectrum available at 800 megahertz for, for more communications devices as well.
It's a quarter past one behind me. People still registering to get into the Comms Connect event. Uh, and it keeps on going. This queue is, is, it doesn't go away to be honest. All your bags. <laughs> Well, the waiting right now is on Terry. Terry is for Hightower, responsible for the Australian market, and he's a specialist on DMR stuff. Please more people to like follow Hightower in the social media and online. Well, that, that is something very important. Social media with Hightower as well has become so important right now that you can get a large follow group, specifically on Facebook. Unbelievable. Yes. We start to run our Instagram, our own Instagram, Instagram as well. Accounts, yes. So if you're not on Instagram in this industry, be on Instagram because there's so much to do on social media as well, and also on Facebook. Terry, Terry. Terry's there. Terry, Terry had uh, had a meeting with a customer and he was pretty much engaged with this customer. So I think he sold new radios, right, yeah. or new network. I just saw a couple of million, I think. Couple of millions, <laughs> just a couple of million. Just, just kidding. Just a Shall we have a seat? I'm gonna have a seat, Terry. I lost the fashion. <laughs> okay, so this All is right. Terry from Hytera. Hello. Um, and you guys have introduced a new DMR radio solution, right? Uh, yeah, Hytera has not only introduced a whole new range of the DMR solution, and actually you can see from here, a uh, major of the focus actually, and I put a lot of weight on the LT stuff as well. Hytera is the only company now providing a turnkey solution on the LT critical communication. We got a base station and a different format, and we got all the emergency of the LT uh, mesh systems. Also, we got a different terminals as a choice and for the customer, and also in a back and that's the application there and also is supplied by the Hatera. So take a look at this group of people. Um, it gives you a little bit of an idea what's going on downstairs because that's the RC at dinner. I'm gonna be part of that as well so I'm joining them. establish themselves as an industry professional as they begin their career and they continue their career because we know it's very rewarding, don't we? I think we need to shut down the camera because I'm getting treated right now, right? I feel happy tomorrow. Thank you so much.